Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So it sounds like we've got the right music back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the last episode, the reason why it was that, uh, it was like fight music for the entire episode is because just before I had, uh, started recording, I'd, I'd gone out and hunted a boar, and I think the game got stuck in that. <laughs> well, we're back to, back to normal, so all is, all is good. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just throwing together a bit of firewood and uh, maintaining some of the storage. Uh, I've got something interesting to show you. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Actually, uh, yeah, let's just let the firewood finish. I'll, oh, I'll also tell you what the plan is for today while we're doing this. Um, we're going to be making ourselves a bronze pickaxe. Maybe get, maybe we'll take a few stone pickaxes as well. And we're going to head up to the mine. Um, we're not just going to do some mining. We're actually going to build another resource storage building up there so that we can take the ore directly and just deposit it right in the uh, the building and uh, it'll be available and then we don't have to worry about carrying it back and forth. Uh, I'd been planning on doing this for quite a while. Um, I do want to build a mining community up at the uh, uh, up at the, at the at the mine. It's the one between the Ranicas. Oh, there we go. Uh, so right now this this uh, storage has is up to 1744 uh, kilograms which you know, you're like, oh, that's not a problem. Well, okay, if we take a look, <laughs> if we take a look, if we sort on weight, and uh, we could see that, well, logs are actually taking up quite a bit, but manure is actually taking up quite a bit as well. And this 949, that's only half of what I have. I had to pull half of the manure out and dump it on the floor so that I could get a little bit of space back in the inventory. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> so, okay, that's what we're going to do. Anyways, we're going to uh, make ourselves a bronze pickaxe, which we, means we need, I think it's a, a bar and, oh, you know what we should do? If we want to do something about weight, here, let's do that. Uh, we'll, we'll do it reverse this time. Uh, let's grab uh, 20 logs. And now the music stopped. Oh, man. <laughs> I like the music. Come on, game. Don't do that. <laughs> I want to hear the music. Uh, and then we're going to, we're going to drop the logs here. Boop, boop, boop. We're just going to free up a little bit of storage space. Not too much. Um, oh my goodness. It always changes every time you log back in. We'll just grab another 20. Now, wait a minute. What is our, uh, firewood at now? Uh, firewood is at 149. That'll cover us for a little bit, especially in spring and summer. So I'm not worried about that. And then I think we're going to just do that. We'll dump 40 logs out. And then we're going to grab uh, a log. Uh, yeah, just one log. Now, I can't remember what the uh, the other piece of the puzzle is. Oh, Medrika, do you mind if I... Uh, oh, no, I mean, here. See you soon. Okay, can I, can I get in there? I just want to... Can I... Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we want to make a uh, bronze pickaxe. Look at that. I, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I'm a smithy now, apparently, according to the game. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, so we have ourselves a bronze pickaxe. What is my weight at? It's at 27, so it's not terrible. Um, now, what do I need? Oh, man, if I'm going to build a... Uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to build a tier one resource uh, hut because uh, I don't think... Wait a minute, it's storage. What do I need for that to just to get started? 10 logs. No. Yeah, 10 logs. Well, 10 logs for either. I don't want to build this one because it's going to cost me, I don't know how many planks for the roof, I think. So we're just going to do a regular one. So what we'll need is we're going to need a bunch of straw. So we're going to grab that. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. And uh, we'll, we'll source some materials up there, but I'm going to bring a bunch of things with me, things that I know I'm going to have trouble getting. Uh, we also need probably some sticks. Do, 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 do. 394. We're doing good on sticks. I'll just grab, uh, I don't know, 100. We could always grab more. And then what, what do we have left? Well, we could take up a bit of uh, some logs as well. We're going to need those for the building process. Where am I? Oh, my goodness. I can't. I'm so lost. Uh, here we go. Um, 20. No, that's not. I don't think we can do that. Let's do 35. No, that's too much. We got to drop a couple of kilograms. Well, all right then, we can do that. So, oops. 
Uh, how about we drop off here? Let's just do that. Now that gives us a little bit of wiggle room. Um, there we go. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the farm, the, the farm team, and I don't mean, you know, like, uh, <laughs> I'm not talking about the sports version of farm team. No. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They're out of materials. Okay. Well, that's all expected. Um, because our team that works in the barn, they're farmers, uh, we've got, they're, they're so good right now with all their work. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the herbalist back in business. And the reason why is because, uh, yeah, people had some really good, uh, you know, they were saying that it's, it's spring. You really should have somebody and you've got people just do it. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I think you're right. Let's see. Now it is survival. Now we need someone who is currently a farmer and it was Soberad. Did we have Soberad? You know, he could do it. He's a level three in survival. Um, so could need a mirror. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fisher, barn worker. Ostrobod could do it too. Uh, Soberad, Ostrobod. You know, we, let's get Soberad to do it. Yeah, why not? Let's get him to do be the herbalist. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna crank up some some stuff. Now, what I've done is I've I've set each one of them at one percent, the ones that are unlocked, so that I can see which ones are available to me right now. And yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just grab I'll just say you know maybe fifteen on, say no, uh, let's just do ten percent on each one to start like this, and then we'll just go from there. And then also the uh, morels. There we go. And I know we're wasting with these 1%, but it's not really a huge deal. How many do we have? Let's go up to 15. Uh, 15. 15. There we go. And we got, we could add, do four more here. There. Now we're at all, 15 on everything that we can actually do at this moment. Perfect. All right. And lastly, but not leastly, let's take a look at the food situation. We have some cabbages. I think what we'll do is we will grab... Is our herbalist? I should probably... Oh, I think he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. <laughs> um, let us grab some cabbages. We'll just grab some of the crappier ones. Uh, I don't know, 15 of them. Oh, did I go over? No, I didn't. Okay, we're still good on storage here, so that's all fine. Uh, the other thing is I should probably check and see that I am 37% filth at the moment. And perhaps maybe... Oh, oh, is the music starting again? Oh, thank goodness. Um, here. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, man. I, okay, hang on. We, we can't go yet. We're going to clean ourselves up. Uh, and, oh, where are we going, by the way? We are going up to... Essentially up, like, here-ish. Because that's where the cave is. Now, it's a nice cave. It doesn't have a bear. <laughs> it's just, it's just, you know, a cave. And it's got, uh, it's got stuff. Do, 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 do. Gotta, gotta let my darling know where I'm going. Honey, hi. I'm just gonna go up to the, to the cave and build the resource building and get some metals. Okay? She's like, okay, dear, you have a good day. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Do I need to do that? No. Is it polite? Yes. <laughs> I feel better. I feel better. Okay, so that's the plan for today. We are going to cruise on up to the uh, to the Ranicas, and oh, there's my fishing dude, the fish terminator. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cruise on up to the to the uh, mine uh, mining area. We're gonna build ourselves a resource storage. Now that that building is going to be hooked into the the. Uh, the global storage network uh, for the game, uh, for, for my village. And it'll actually add another thousand to the storage. So that'll ease up some of our storage woe, uh, some of our woes at this point. Uh, I do plan on upgrading the, 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 the resource building back at the main village there, and that will increase by another thousand, if I remember correctly. And so that, that'll be good. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, so people, because they were asking about the, uh, like, oh, you said you were going to, you know, do the resource, upgrade the resource storage and destroy the second one. And um, and I'm like, oh, well, you know what? They said, you, should, you really shouldn't because you're going to need the storage. And they're right. <laughs> uh, 
But my plan was to actually, has always been uh, for quite some time, to build an outpost for mining out here. The problem is, if we take a look at uh, technology uh, down in the uh, extraction, the mine is way down here. We need 5,000 building points in order to do it. Oh, you know what? Somebody said, is it production farming? They said uh, the stable. Oh, we're almost, oh, we're 10 points away from the stable. Oh, that is exciting. And then the fold after that. You know what that means? That means we can get a donkey or, and or a horse very soon. <laughs> oh, I have been looking forward to that. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I think we're going to we're going to deal with them in, in a, a little bit. We know they're there. They'll be there all season. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're going to have to deal with them, but uh, in the meantime, I've got a uh, I've got to get over here and, and get going on my little uh, situation here. I would attack them, except the problem is that my carrying capacity is really low and they usually have loot and I wouldn't be able to pick it all up. So what did I just see? I did see a barrel, didn't I? <gasps> With salt and copper. Okay, we're going to have to come back and get that too. There's two barrels, actually. Oh, sweet. Now, the big question is, where are we going to be able to place the uh, resource building? In, in Season 1, I placed it, like, kind of over here. Uh, what I might do is place it a little closer, as close as I can to this thing. Well, within reason. Um, here. Oh, I'm going to need to build a, uh, another... My hammer is almost dead. All right. Well, actually, we don't need it for this, but we're gonna we're gonna have it out anyways. We're gonna build a just a tier one resource storage. Um, obstacles. Okay, so we could, okay, we could actually build it right here. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't like the. Uh... <gasps> what do you think? Is that a good location for it? <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell. Um, how about if we put it like right, maybe like right here? I think this is a good spot for it. And then the other buildings we can put over there. All right, let's get out of that mode. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. No, you know what? This works. It's This tree is what was blocking me. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, before, I had the house here before, but this this, this will work out just fine. Um, what I should do, though, is I should build another hammer. And the problem, of course, is that I have zero logs now. But, uh, well, let's not worry about it. We'll, let's get the sticks going. Let's, let's unload all the stuff that we do have on us. And then we'll go out and do a bit of a log run and try to finish this little task up. Oh, yep, there goes the hammer. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, once we get this sorted out, uh, we'll be able to... Oh, what am I going to do after that? Well, we've got options. Um, actually, I could mine overnight. And then tomorrow, I could deal with the, uh, with the uh, bandits. Yeah, you know what? I think that's a good idea. Because in the cave, it, I mean, I'm going to use night vision potion for the cave. I'm, I want to see if it what it does in the cave, night vision, and uh, if it helps out. It should. I hope it does. If it doesn't, then that's kind of silly. Uh, but we're going to give that a shot. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's use the little bit of daylight that we've got left to finish off building our resource storage here at our mining outpost. And then... Uh, yeah, we'll do some mining overnight, and then tomorrow, I guess we'll go over there and clean out the riffraff. Because I don't want them coming over here and stealing my copper. That would be wrong. It would be terrible. It would be just like them, too. They're, they're, I, did you see the surly looks that they gave me as I walked by? Ter just awful. All right. You're tired, are you? Well, just keep going, buddy. Oh, no. Okay. Not enough resources. All right, here. Get some stamina back. We're going to need more sticks. What we could do is, uh, we're going to get sticks when we cut down some trees. So I'm going to start working on this straw. That is the one thing that I was very concerned about having enough of. Because I don't know where the nearest source of straw is up here. 
So that's why I got like a, you know, a hundred and something of it. I wanted to make a expressly clear that, or sure, certain that I was going to have enough material on me to do this. And I think we're, we're very good for straw. And it's light. Nothing for you. Okay. And it's more straw. My hammer's taking a hammering. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. Be quiet. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so eventually, um, I do want to put a family up here, but the problem is that it's kind of useless. The only thing they can really do up here is mining, and um, yeah, we can't build a mine. I mean, technically, we could put an uh, extraction building. Where's my? But there's no reason to. Uh, for now, I think it's just kind of nice to have the, uh, the building up here. Oh man, I think I chopped that too many times. There we go. Let's get you. And we'll leave the stump just so that the tree grows back. Come on. There we go. Oops. Some more logs. And and there we go. Uh, someone told me that uh, birch is uh, kind of terrible for, for uh, how many logs you get. But it actually gives you a reasonable number of sticks. So that's good because I need sticks to finish off the, the house. Or the the uh, the resource storage and bunk. Wait a minute. Oh, it's up there in the tree. Well, we'll just have to cut you down. Do 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 do. And bunka. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if they do. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just cut down a bunch of trees and uh, gather some sticks and just you know. Make it happen. <laughs> Make everything happen. There we go. Do, 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 do. Now, that is probably enough logs. Um, there we go. But we'll find out, of course. Here, let's do the internal logs first. Oh, it may not be enough logs. Okay. No, I think it, it... I don't think it is. All right. It's got some sticks. At least we can finish the, this one off. And let's do this one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. There we are. Now, and then you. Now, I can't remember how far we got with logs. I think it's just the roof. Oh, no. It's all these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, these guys all need. Uh... Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. <laughs> We're gonna have to go cut down some more trees. Uh, a bunch, a bunch more trees. Well, let's find out. Uh, one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm gonna guess nine at least. Let's go with ten, um, just to be sure. Uh, we could cut down these guys over. Well, do we want to cut them? They'll come back eventually. So if we don't, I think if, if we don't pull the stump, then they'll come back. So there we go. And by the way, I'm not using the night vision potion yet because I don't want to use it. Like I only have so many and I want to, I want to resave it for the, uh, for the, uh, for the mining. Uh, that's four. If we cut down three of these trees, then it, we should get 12 logs. There we go. Uh, oh, sticks. Let's get those. And you. And... Oh, there's more, but let's just... Let's get one more tree. Oh, there's there's you. And plunk. Oh, that's two trees. Oh, that's perfect. I only need three. We can leave the other one there. Alright. Did we leave any trees behind? Any logs? I should have 12 on me. We're good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice place. Are you thirsty? He's like, dude, I'm thirsty and I'm hungry, and there's a freaking creek right there. Just let me drink. All right, all right. Here, and here, have some cabbage. It's delicious. That's it. That's what all the good, that's what miners, that's miners around the world. They, they're powered by cabbage, my friend, and so are you. Wonka, Wonka, Wonka. 
And there we go. Excellent. Oh. And one more. Hey, resource storage is complete. Sweet. Now we can just dump stuff in here. And look at that. We've got access to the full inventory of everything in the uh, in our network. Let's put feathers, logs, sticks. What are we at? Oh, we've see 3,000 total now. We're, we're, uh, we've, we've basically, well, it's kind of a patch, I guess. It's not, it's not gonna, it's not a great, uh, final solution, but it'll, it'll keep us going. So, all right. So what we need to do is, uh, we're going to try the, we've got three of these left. I'm going to take one. Let's put the, uh, you know, oh, it does help. Six. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I'm not sure about it. I mean, I think the uh, yeah doesn't work well in the cave. It works well outside, but it doesn't seem to do well in the cave. The one thing it does seem to do is it does kind of highlight deposits. Now, if this was daytime. I know it's weird, but the cave is a little bit brighter during the uh, during the day, which I'm pretty sure is true. I, I can't remember exactly. Well, we can always take a look tomorrow, and we'll see. But um, I am going to go for salt, because uh, I do want to start... Um, uh, I'd like to have at least some of it for cooking purposes. Um, I might It might come in handy. You never really know. Oh, you, are, you, uh, are you overburdened? Okay. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump stuff uh, at the front door because we don't have time. Clay vial. Oh, that's because I drank a potion. Right. Uh, let's just, let's just, uh, no. Um, there we go. We're down to 28. What are we carrying that's it's probably the food? Oh, <laughs> everything just sort of went all over the place. And we still have a little bit of... Wow, the night vision really doesn't last long, does it? Well, we can... And we can see the copper much better than we can see anything else. How's my pickaxe holding up? Hey, not bad. There we go. And, uh... I don't know. We'll do this one more. Am I... I'm being a little erratic about where I, uh... Where I'm going, but... Do... 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 And... There we go. You know what? Here, let's, uh... Let's just use the, the torch and be done with it. I was hoping to avoid it. You're tired, are you? Yeah, I don't know if the night vision plus the torch is really a great combo. Oh, dude, just relax. It's okay. Everything's fine. We're doing just fine. Oh, he's exhausted. Look at him. And there goes the night vision. I think the night vision actually... You know what? It's great for outdoors, but I don't think it's a... I don't think it's something that I'm going to continue to use for, um, for, you know, like mining and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it, it just doesn't, I don't think it works quite all that well. Uh, I'm not overburdened yet, but I figured I'd just go back and drop that all off. Okay, that's, um, tin. Tin does not show up. Did not show up as clearly as salt. And, uh, yeah, I knew we were missing stuff. Look at you. Now, I want tin. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, dude. Just take a break. Okay. Find your, your inner strength. And then hit that tin deposit. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Good boy. All right, we're going to go in and we're going to just keep turning right. Following the right-hand wall. Looking for deposits. And we're just going to keep doing that. Like this. Do, do, do. I swear I'm missing things, but I don't... Am I? No, I don't think I am missing stuff. Oh, there's a copper deposit. Okay. Do, do. And here we go. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, there was a medieval dynasty. The uh, the team behind medieval dynasty. There's a... They, had, they put a video, a teaser video up. Uh, the other day. Oh, it was really cool. Um, it was, uh, the, it, you know what they're going to add to the game? Windmills. Ah, <laughs> I think that's awesome. I'd love to have a windmill in a village. It doesn't even have to do anything. 
I just think it would be cool to have a windmill in the village. <laughs> now, what is the windmill going to be used for? Um, there's two things that uh, traditionally, you know what, here, let's um, follow the reverse left, 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 and okay, because it's easy, easier just to follow the uh, outside wall. Uh, there's two things that windmill would be traditionally used for. The most common would be, well, for mo a lot of circumstances, would be for milling, would be uh, for milling flour and, and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, the other thing that it was used for traditionally was um, uh, for for uh, pumping water. Um, yeah, so that's that's the other thing. I now what what is it that the uh, that medieval dynasty is going to use the the windmills for? I don't know. All I, all I saw in the teaser video was that they had added them. So yeah. All right, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. Now I'm gonna have to assume, I'm gonna have to assume that there that that is gonna be end game. Uh, like like, right now the tavern, for example, is I think it's like ten thousand building points. So it's like way way out there as far as you know. Uh, that's I think when they built the kitchen. Because the tavern was used for, um, the tavern was used for cooking as well as for making alcohol and drinks and juices and wines and stuff. And now I think the tavern is exclusively for for that, uh, for making drinks and like beverages and stuff like that. And then the the kitchen is where you make the uh, where you cook food. And so they pushed the the kitchen down into a much lower uh, requirement. So it was e much easier to get access to the kitchen, of course, so that you could feed your people. And then they push the the um, the uh, beverage production and the tavern and all that way out to like uh, to end game. I'm not really happy about that, uh, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? Let's see if we can get just a little bit more. And you know what we could do? Uh, we're a little slow. Here, let's just do this. We'll go this way and we'll go out. Take a shortcut. We'll follow the right-hand side out. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm not... I like the tavern just for the... Like a gathering place for the villagers. Um, you know, the the, 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 the the tavern... like the You just had the tier one tavern in the beginning. And that was like an open-air tavern. I don't see why that can't be... Um, like lower and a little bit easier the easier to access. Now maybe I'm misreading things. We could probably take a look at the um, wow. There's lots of stuff. I'm probably going around. Well, I'm not going in circles because I am following the the uh, the, the path here. Um, come on, <laughs> it's like painful and slow. <laughs> And the music's like, do, do, do. And I'm like crawling. <laughs> it doesn't, the music's not exactly matching, matching my physical activity, is it? Oh, are we almost there? We are going up. I think that's a good sign. Because if I remember correctly, the when you go into the deeper parts of the cave, it does uh, slope down. Oh, come on. Unless, is the cave a lot bigger? Oh, there it is. I think that's, is that the uh, entrance? Oh, wow. I am, I think I am actually lost. Well, I'm not, I'm, you can't, I don't think you can get lost, but uh, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. Am I going to have to dump something like stone and get a little speed happening here? Because this is getting a bit slow and for crying out loud. Okay, you know what? Here. I'm going to dump this stone and then let's see if we can... We're just following the right-hand side. Do, 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 do. Unless I missed it. Unless I missed it. 
<laughs> is this place a lot bigger than I thought it was before? Holy moly. <laughs> it's never ending. Oh, wow. Am I, I? I must be going around in circles. I must be going around in circles. Is there a middle pillar? They, I don't remember there being a middle pillar. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you know what? This is getting silly. Um, let's take, let's change our approach. Uh, up, up, up. Oh no, that's not. Uh, up, up, up. Up, up, up. There it is. Okay, so yeah, doing following doing the up 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 thing is uh is a much better approach. Uh go and sweet. What time is it? Okay, we've got a little ways to go. Uh you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I think I'm gonna do a bit more mining because this is a bit slow. Um I, I really, you know, I'm starting to think that maybe it was not a good idea to come in here at night because uh, the visibility, yeah, the visibility around me is like even less than normal. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to switch out our approach. We're going to make ourselves a nice little campfire. Now, to make the campfire, we need, not here, it's decorative items, and then you go down over here, and, you know, we could build a stone campfire. Uh, 12 stone. <laughs> we just dropped a bunch of stone. And 6 firewood. Okay. What we could do is we could, uh, here, let's just have this out so that, you know. 6 fire. We need 3 logs. Right? I'm not going to grab their firewood. How's the firewood situation, by the way? 145, it's good. So 3 logs. 1, 2, 3. And, oh, what the hay. But, well, no, let's go and grab the stone from over here. Salt, 42 stone. Ah, we're a little overburdened, but that's okay. We'll put a nice little campfire, like, right out front here. And uh, decorative campfires, stone campfire. Oh, we need... Oh, I need to make the firewood. Of course. There we go. Oh, it's raining. Oh. Ooh. That's kind of grim. <laughs> Yeah, because I think what I'll do is I'm going to sleep through the night because, uh, yeah, I, the darkness is really, um, it's just hard. It's hard to make good, to be honest with you, make good videos and stuff when it's dark. Either. I'm going to put it, like, right here. And we're going to light this bad boy up and actually, uh, put the, put the, that out and sleep till the next day. Aha! Ooh! Oh, it's grim out. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, see... Look at that. In daylight, there you can there's you have a bit of visibility. Okay, now we're gonna try something here. And this is just again an experiment. And if we go if we use one of our night night potions. Oh look at what it does. Oh that is it turns it like almost daylight in here. Okay, well let's just here, let's get some a bunch of stuff. Uh I don't want to spend all day in here. Uh let's just let's just do the uh what we can hit up that's close to the entrance. And uh, it should be enough to keep us going for a little while. Uh, am I already overburdened? Why? Why am I over... Oh, because I have a ton of stone on me. I have a ton of stone on me. Okay, well, we can undo that. Let's just come out here. Uh, nope. I... There we go. And... Oops. Ah, you know what? Drop the vial. It's in the way. It keeps... I keep on accidentally... Where's the vial? There it is, right there. <laughs> Get back in here. We've we've got limited night vision potion left, and I want to make use of it. Okay, nothing, nothing. Look at this. Yeah, so, oh, this makes... This is really good. Man, this night vision potion is awesome. So, caves during the day, night vision potion is super helpful. Um, outdoor at night, it's super helpful. Caves at night, it's not helpful. In fact... Uh, digging around in caves at night is a, is it seems to be uh, kind of awful, to be honest with you. Now, let's keep going this way. 
Uh, let's get some salt. I know, I'm getting probably more salt than I need. Okay, dude, here, just have a drink. What, do you have, what do you, do you have, I think you've got a water skin. Here, have some water skin, have a bit of cabbage. There, now, okay, no, get, get your stamina back. You know, you, this night vision potion is burning, but you don't, you're not worried about that, are you, bro? No, I didn't think you were. Okay, tin. Let's get some copper. Do 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 and tin. Man, it's gonna be so nice when we have somebody actually mining, like the the mining family, because they'll they they do all this for us. Oh, we're about to. There it goes. <laughs> we can still sort of see, um, and I'll adjust the 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 uh, light levels a little bit. In fact, I'll probably crank up all of it, but just for visibility. But I'll, I can tell you that uh, using that night vision potion during the day in the cave was extremely helpful. Okay, so we're just going to head on out. Actually, you know what? 112 out of 75, huh? Here, we're going to draw... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't need all the stone. Oh, I do. <sighs> Actually, you know what? We can pick up... Uh, no, no. We're just going to go. <laughs> Here, we'll do the crab, the sort of sideways walk thing. Because apparently that is a good thing. That's something that we're supposed to do. To speed up our, uh... Our, uh, travel. Do, 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 do. There we go, out here. Yeah, you do, you do go a little faster when you do this. Basically what I'm doing is walking forwards and sideways at the same time. So I'm walking at an, a diagonal, and it... This is an old thing that, that people were telling me to do ages ago. I rarely do it because, you know, it's kind of goofy. But at times like this, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's drop you. All right. Let's grab the copper. 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 The vial, just because. Uh, tin. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're, um... Oh, here. You know what? Here, drop the ten. Okay, let's just do it this way. It's so much faster just to be underweight and then just... And then just run. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's stone. Okay. And I think there was another... Oh, there's actually under the... Come on. Copper. And... All right, let's take... Oh, oh, and I'm overweight again. Oh, I was hoping that today was not going to suck for weather because we do want to go and uh, take on those uh, banditos. Oh. There we go. Now, how much... Oh, no, no, no. What? Uh, how much... Um, Copper, do we have 59 and 10? We have 52. But the thing is, like, this is a... We're sort of planning for the future here, doing this. Because... Here, let's grab the salt. That stone is what does it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, we can now come up here, and if we need to grab a bunch of metals, uh, we can do it, and it won't take us a huge amount of time. Like, we can go and get, you know, a, uh, just hit up some copper. Let's say we want to get specifically copper. We can come up here and, and grab it. So that is now a thing. And what I can do is I can do some of this stuff off camera, because it's, it's super painfully difficult to make interesting. Uh, okay, salt... We'll leave the stone. We don't need it. Yeah, well, that's good. Now, there, we did leave, uh, if I remember correctly, over here, there was some stuff left by the side of the road. We got iron, salt, copper, tin. Anything else? A stone. Another stone. 
think that's it. Okay. And okay, now, um, all right, let's leave. Oh man, no, let's leave that and let's head back in. Now, you know, it's almost like the, uh, the, the, uh, there, let's just let's just get enough to uh, to be able to run back out. I just don't want to I don't want to come up here and then not get a bunch of it. Oh my goodness, stamina again. But I do need to go over and get those bandits. I don't think the weather's going to get any better. Hmm. All right, let's just do this. Okay, let's just let's just grab some stuff. We're going to leave the salt. We'll grab the copper and the tin. Maybe dump the stone. Uh, the problem is the stone's useful. I need it for upgrading buildings, the houses and stuff. So it's not like I don't need it. Uh, that said, my current team is... You know what? Here. Um, is mining stone. The extraction hut is mining stone at this point. So it's not, it's not like I'm, I'm having trouble getting it. Oh, come on. Okay. So I thought, why is it getting dark? Yeah, it was because his stamina was tanking. I think I need to, uh, if I'm going to, if I'm going to be doing this more, I think I need to, uh, I need to put some, there is like a, let's take a quick look. If you go into skills, um, extraction. That, of course, it's, yeah, it's got the pickaxe for crying out loud. Uh, excavation master, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, slower stamina consumption during extra, uh, extraction activities. Miner's trance also gives you faster mining and digging. So there are some bonuses you can get that make this a little bit more uh, palatable. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. What? You know what? Let's do the uh, left hand roll. Let's do that. I must have been when in the night because this. I don't think this cave is as big as it as uh, it seems. And uh, did I clump? Did I did I finish this off? No. I could, no. Hang on. I think I might have actually... All right, well, I might have missed something. Um, most likely I did because the tin is a little harder to see. But uh, here, let's grab the firewood. Okay, well, I guess we have... Uh, I guess we got what we came for. You, dump you, dump you. And can we bring back some of this stone? Sixty-seven. Okay, that's yeah, that's what I thought. Carrying too much. All right. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> it's terrible weather. Okay. Do, 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 But we need it. We need it for uh, making better houses for our village so that we're burning less wood. Uh, a little bit more efficient on firewood uses, usage is where I'm going with that. But there we go. So we do have, it's kind of a grim, a, a grim picture, but we actually have our sort of, we've got a resource thing. And uh, here, I'm going to just take a little, little memento. There we are. All right. Now, we got business to take care of. How's my arrow situation? We have ooh, 11 arrows. 
Okay. Am I wearing furs? No. Yes, I am. Well, all right then. I'll just, I'll just make them nervous with my terrible attire. Dude, why is he wearing furs in spring? <laughs> because. Now, how are we going to approach these guys? Uh, I did die to them at one point in the past. You know, there's a nice tree up here. We can use that to our advantage. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, is there only one of them? Let's clear some of this uh, line, line of sight. <gasps> this is going to be the first time where we can use our new and improved... Oh my goodness, this is so loud. New improved anti-sway uh, uh, arrow action. All right. Quick save. See if we can do it from here. Oh, it is better. I am I am moving while he's aiming. Oh man. He's using a crossbow on me. Oh. Oh, I missed. Oh. <laughs> it's oh the crossbow went in the fire, didn't it? Where does crossbow go? Oh well, let's uh, let's let's see what he's got. He's got a spiked cudgel. It's really in terrible shape. He's got copper bolts. <gasps> okay, now where did his? I saw his crossbow go. He, he, it ejected from him, uh, like out. I thought it went into the fire, but you know, let's grab his firewood. Where's the crossbow? There it is. <gasps> it's an iron crossbow. It's in terrible shape, but it's still an iron crossbow. Excellent. Oh, man, if he'd hit me with one of those bolts, that would have been bad news. Oh, did he have any... Uh... Oh, well, i got to get my arrows out of him. Oh, look at all the arrows. Oh. Wait a minute. Did I fall back on stone arrows? <gasps> no, I didn't. Why was he... Okay, all right. That's a bit weird. Yeah, copper arrows. Oh, I did. I ran out of copper arrows and I, I fell back on stone arrows. That's why I wasn't having as much luck with them as I... Oh, that makes sense. Okay, where is it? There's one there. Um, Let's get... All of his stuff. Okay. And we had a copper knife. And we'll get his stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. Now, any more arrows? My arrows, I mean. Now, what did you have? You had a copper spear. Ooh. A stone arrow. You know what? This is from the last time I fought with these guys. Those are my old stone arrows from way back. The last time they had a camp here. Okay. Now, let's see if there's any other bits and pieces around here that we might be able to... Uh... Yeah, I don't see anything. All right. <laughs> the neighborhood is safe once again. Do, 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 do. You know something? Yeah, you know what? Okay, we're going to head back to the... Uh, I think we're going to head home. Let me just double check something. Where am I here? Is it here or is it somewhere else? I think it's somewhere else.
Yeah. Yeah, I think it's somewhere else. Uh, there's the... Um, uh, there is an Easter egg in this game, and it's kind of cool. It doesn't get talked about a lot, um, not officially. Uh, I have mentioned it before. I've shown it before. It's the uh, memorial tree. So there is a, there's a memorial tree, which is a, it's kind of a, you know what? I'm going to sell all these bottles. So the firewood for the, for the, my team. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a little Easter egg that was, uh, it has to do with a dude, um, who played the game and it's a memorial for him and stuff like that. It's very, it's kind of, se it's semi-private. Um, but it is kind of a, it's an interesting little thing and the the tree is really lovely so i do like to see if I, I was thinking i wanted to go and take a look and see if i could find it all right is there any more what else do i want to sell if i wanted to sell something let's let's go by price we'll filter on price and, and drop down seedlings we got to plant those i have to remember to do that we're not doing the any giving away any fabrics or, or anything like that we're keeping the clay vial because we can use that in the near future for making um uh, potions, I guess. I'm thinking that's the plan. Salt flax seed is down to 131. Uh, I guess they've planted it all. So that's that's actually all leftover stuff. Salt is 34. That's not a terrible amount. And then it's all just yeah. Okay. I don't think there's any wooden vial is fine too. Okay. All right. Um, and then weapons. Is there anything we can sell? got a spare recurve bow but i kind of like having that oh you know what um i have the wooden crossbow we can sell the wooden crossbow and the wooden bolts but i'd like i'm going to keep the iron crossbow it's a 40 percenter but it's yeah i mean it's not much much worse than the one i have right now but it does uh what is it uh 70 damage versus the wooden crossbow which does 40 damage so we're going to hang on to that, actually. And I'm going to sell the wooden crossbow. Now, do I have any bolts? I have copper bolts, right? 15 of them. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We can keep that. Um, the knife, the copper knife, I'm going to... My hunters can use that. So I'm going to keep that here. Uh, the bronze pickaxe, I'm going to put away uh, so that my um, extraction people can use it. And what else? Um, the stone arrows I'm going to keep because I, I do... They're kind of fall back if I run out of copper arrows. We don't have a lot of them left. Wooden bolts will sell. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. We're just going to sell a few items. And uh, we'll do it on, on our way back. I, I can't remember. I thought, hmm. I think the memorial tree is actually down here somewhere. I think it's, I think it's here. So I'm in the wrong part of the map, so... Well, I, I just wanted to say I, I do plan on going there, and uh, yeah, I just I sometimes I can never sometimes remember if it's in the uh, north half of the map or the south half of the map. Uh, all right, let's go to uh, the village, sell a few things, and then get back home. Do 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 do. Hey, now how much how much are the sheep? Ooh, they're not cheap. Oh, wait a minute. We, we, get, we can get the little guys. 1900 Oh, that's pretty cool. Not yet, though. Hi, Alina. Hello. Hi. Um, Best goods in the valley. Well, here. Uh, uh, you need something to put your sheep milk in um, instead of a bucket. So here's some bottles and wine bottles and stuff. I'm sure that they'll come in handy for you. And then if you ever need to defend yourself from bandits, because I just killed a bunch, uh, here's, some, uh, here's some weapons. Uh, spiked cudgel, sure. And what else? A copper spear. Yeah, I bet you you'd find that very handy. All right, I think that's it. All right. See you soon. <laughs> what every good shepherd needs is an armament. <laughs> Bottles and an armament. I think that worked. That'll that'll do just fine. You know, somebody asked me. Um, oh, I guess I'm not going to find them now because it's not fall. But I keep forgetting to look for the, uh, the the piles of leaves. But yeah, that's a fall thing, and it's not fall anymore, so it's kind of a bummer. All right, let's get back to the village, which is uh, on the way. We're not far. Look at, the, look at the size of our village. 
Look at it. <laughs> I mean, you look at the our village is like that big, which it, that it spans like the equivalent of halfway between Baranica and Branica. That width, that there, is like to from here from here to here. It's halfway to the other village. <laughs> we've we've created. Oh hey, oh I'm stinky. Look at my uh. Oh my. Oh, that's terrible. She was <laughs> the shepherd, shepherdess. Uh, she probably shepherd, shepherdess. That doesn't matter. Um, the uh, the lady that takes care of their sheep. <laughs> she's probably like, oh man, uh, yeah, okay, I'll buy, I'll buy your 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 stuff. Oh, well, that's just a stick. Um, I'll buy your stuff, you stinky stranger. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I really need to clean up because I'm feeling kind of gross. You'd think the rain would help to wash away any of my filth, but apparently not. Apparently not. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll just check the village and see how things are going. Let's uh, wash you up. As, as in me. There we go. Take a quick boo in here to make sure. Is everybody doing their thing? Yeah, look at that. They're all working hard. I, I had no doubt. And the, everything's planted. And the last thing... Oh. Right. Rabbit trap. Oh, and we need to make a new bird trap. Okay. Um... What was that? Oh, it looks blue when it's... Okay, okay. It's the wash tub. It ha There was blue writing, and it's because when you look down, and, and if you look at... Like, it, things get darker in the margin. See? At the edge. There's kind of a vignette effect, and it makes the, uh, the, the print... Look at the wash... See? Okay, there's the wash tub, right? But when I do this, it kind of takes on a blue tinge. Yeah, that's what was confusing me. Okay. All right. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Sweet! Yep. Guess what we're making soon. Um, but we need... Oh, man. We need money. Sorry, I got distracted by the stable. Okay. <laughs> we were doing something. <laughs> we were making a bird trap. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, let's go and check on our herbalist. Yo, bro! How's it going? Are you out gathering? No, you're doing stuff in a bowl. All right, let's take a look at the, uh... Well, now... Did, okay, good. That it's not there. All right, so if we take a look... Oh, wait a minute. We'll look at technology in a minute, but... Um, the stable is what we, uh, we can now do. So if we go to farming and... Uh, there we go. We have 2,000. We just broached 2,000 points. And so now we can make a st uh, stable, which is a type of animal husbandry building. Acquiring mounts are kept here. So, you know, mules and, and horses. Do I want to get a mule? Do I want to get a horse first or a mule first? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. I don't remember how much horses cost. All right. Anyways, uh, that's not why I'm here. I wanted to go into inventory. Uh, build, no, I wanted to go into management, buildings, storage. No, yeah, storages, food storage, and take a look at the situation with. Um, is it not food? Is it stored in resources? Oh, it is. Broadleaf plantain is 27, daisies 44, dandelions 1. Oh, he didn't really get a lot done, did he? Henbane 5. Wow, most of the stuff is stuff that I think I gra gathered. Thistle 6. Oh, he's terrible at his job. Um, if we take a look at the uh, gathering rates, I didn't really look too closely at it. But if you go to the herbalist hut and you take a look in the tasks, yeah, he should be getting 4.5 per day. So he should have gotten four and a half of each of these things. 
Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. If you were a stable, where would you want to be? Hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Got a question for you. Where do you think the stable should go? What? Really? Like right here where the where the berry bushes are? You you hate berries? Why? You don't have an answer for that question, do you? No, you don't. Okay. You just it's just an irrational you have an irrational hatred of berries. Is that is that what you're trying to tell me? That's that's the situation, right? Like you're just like uh, uh. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, we got to figure out where we're going to put the stable. Um, I mean, really we could put it uh Well, just keep in mind that any building that I put uh near the uh within the vicinity of the operating range like of a of a of the barn uh is space that is that cannot be a field in the future right so that is something to keep in mind so with that in mind uh we're already kind of encroaching because of where all of this stuff is i'm thinking that the stables could be actually over here uh away from the like the the main animals can be over there Although, I mean, one day, you know what? Do we, uh, we could have the stable, like, right here. Or we could put the stable... Oh, you know what? The stable might actually work really, like, right here. It's on a little bit of a hill, but... Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure. All right, well, you know, we'll have to see. We're going to find out whether... Uh, oh, my goodness. Now I have to make a rabbit trap. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where we uh, look at uh, the future, uh, which may involve a stable, and where we put it. <laughs> you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, look at the uh, look at the, the, the sort of the rays of, of sun and the shadow and everything coming from the... Oh, that is in the mist and everything. That's so cool. The lighting is awesome. All right. As I say, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.